Hello everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. In today's reading, we're going to look into what will your marriage life look like? Very interesting. So the first pile we have here is the blue flower, the second pile, the yellow flower, and the third pile, the red flower. Please take a moment and use your intuition to choose the pile. You could also pause the video to meditate on your cards. If you're ready, let's move to the first pile, the blue flower. Welcome, pile one, all those who've chosen the blue flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. In today's reading, we're going to look into what will your marriage life look like? Okay, so first we have here Queen of Cups. King of Wands. Nine of Wands. Judgment. Seven of Cups. Bittersweet. Quest. Very soon, keep an open mind. Let's keep this here. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Right, power one. So, seven of cups. This is a card of so many dreams, so many visions. And I believe looking at this card that you do have so many dreams when it comes to your marriage. You're probably um, not 100% sure of how your partner will look like, but you do know how you want to feel, how you want to be treated, how you want your environment to be, what you're expecting from this marriage. You have that very, very clear in your mind. The only thing I feel is not clear is in regards to the partner. Is it going to be the partner you're thinking about? Is it an ex? Is it a new person? There could be so many things at the moment in your mind. So this is one thing. But one very, very exciting thing coming up here is the king and the queen. You will be like divine counterparts here. And you'll be treated like a queen. I feel you'll be treated the way you want to be treated. The way you've always dreamt of. It's such a beautiful energy. Your marriage life is, you're going to feel so fulfilled. You're going to feel you have everything and you're going to be so devoted to your partner. Your partner, I feel it's a lot of feminine watching this for some reason, but if it's not, please take um, as it resonates and just do the opposite of it. King of Wands, your person would be very matured and will be someone as well extremely extremely passionate and i feel you're passionate about you and for you and they'll treat you like a queen you're not going to feel uh, that you lack anything in life you're going to feel so complete and so fulfilled and like i said you are going to be very devoted to your family and especially to your partner with the queen of cups is also a card of keeping things secret and not letting many people know so i feel that of course we all go through ups and downs in our connections but even if something is not going right or maybe you've had an argument with any of your family member you are going to keep it deep within you you won't be um, expressing that or making that very obvious to other people because you really um, it's not because you want to hide something it's just because you respect this connection so much and you know things would go um things would fall into place again so you don't want to make a big issue out of it and you don't you really respect your person so you wouldn't want anyone to look at them in any other way and that's the beauty of it it's so beautiful it's a respect which would be mutual your person as well would be equally devoted to you i feel that it's a yin and yang energy is the perfect match and regardless of what anyone else thinks how your match is you know that you both are perfect for each other so for a lot of you it's a lot like a soulmate or twin connection over here which is coming together and that's the reason i feel where many people might not feel it's the perfect connection they might feel you both are different individual because it's a king of wands and a queen of cups. They are two different people, yet it's a king and queen. 
So you both are coming in together, regardless of whether what someone else thinks here. So um, yes, I do feel that for some of you, this could be where you both come into um, you both come into this marriage after going through so much um, together. So. The other thing I'm feeling here is fire and water. So um, the fire can definitely, <clears throat> sorry, the water can definitely extinguish the fire, you see, with so much of um, energy in it. So I feel that you both are somehow balancing each other in a particular way. And I somehow feel you're going to have an upper hand in the connection, the feminine. If any feminine is watching, I feel that your person is just going to be head over heels over you and you are going to have like a very strong position in this connection here. With the Nine of Wands, as you can see, it's very, very passionate. Your person would love you so much. And there are people, there is someone here outside looking who's not happy with it. So there could be, as I feel, there might be society, other family members um, who could be very jealous of this connection. And they might be wondering where you both are so different. How did you both come in together? How are you so happy together for some of you it could also be um, one of your ex who could be looking at the two of you and feeling that form of jealousy in this connection but it's a very very deep feeling and your person wherever they go they would want you to come along they don't want you to be out of their sight and that's again if you've spent so much time already in separation you don't want to leave each other at all the card here the judgment makes me feel that eventually people are going to celebrate your marriage. It could be where for some of you initially, you might not have so many people happy in your connection. But as time goes by, you both are like this power couple. So as time goes by, more and more people are going to notice this connection and they are going to celebrate the two of you. You're going to start having so many friends, so many relatives around you all the time. It's going to be a gradual thing. But at the end of it, yes, you both are going to eventually have many, many people around you. You'll be socializing a lot. You'll be having fun with family members and friends. There is a lot going on here. Even with Seven of Cups at the back, I feel here, you will be having a lot of social gatherings um, together. Okay. Then we have your bittersweet. So... Things are not going to be lovey-dovey all the time. You'll be having that situation, as I said earlier as well, where you could be having a little bit arguments or conflicts with each other. But your relationship is so sweet that whenever one person is upset, the other one would step ahead and may console the other person or make the other person feel better. So it's a very beautiful connection and it's between both of you because you both are equally strong here so there would be time when one of you would be upset with the other person and the other person then would try their best to make the other person feel better so it's not going to be where both of you would not talk to each other for days and days i don't feel that i feel that you would want to resolve the conflict pretty quickly with the quest here though i do feel that there is a strength um sorry um, it makes me feel that from your side, you could be a little bit strict in this connection. I'm not sure why, but there seem to be some sort of boundaries here, which you want to create. And maybe it's in boundaries in regards to um, your family life, or maybe in regards to how much time you spend with other people. There is some sort of, um, some sort of boundaries. And here I feel, like I said, it's all the your person is the king but you're the queen, but you have a very big say in what's happening in your house, in what's happening, how you want to conduct your um, your lifestyle here. And it could be where maybe you like to be very punctual or you have this thing that we should sleep early, wake up early on not going out very late at night. There could be any such thing, anything. But you do maintain the sense of discipline in your household. So you are the complete complete package over here completely it's beautiful it's like the run would the house would be running because of you and your person being the king as well would be so dependent on you here because they know you're managing things very well but of course you would not make them feel that way looking at it you would still make the king feel the king you would still ask them for suggestions make um 
decide mutually if you want to take any decision. So you're not going to make the king feel any less than a king. And that's the beauty of it. You both are going to make each other feel very, very special. Now, very soon, I feel there's a message coming up for you all who are looking into getting married. This could be coming things very, very soon for you. For a lot of you, this marriage as such could be entering your life very soon. All right. And with the seven of cups, it feels like your wishes could be coming true. So you need to clearly decide how you want your marriage life to be because your wishes are going to come true. So it's here as well. You need to clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. Lastly, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So when you fall in love, as I said, there are differences in your connection. It could be anything. There could be age gap. There could be where this person is already married with children. It could be where uh, this person is maybe from another religion. Whatever it is, there is some sort of difference here. You both, that's the reason it felt you both are different, yet you both are one and very similar. People outside feel it's different because that's what how we've been um, we've been tuned in forever. We've been told to distinguish between different people based on different factors. But here you both recognize you both are different and yet you feel you're not different when you're together. But the people externally, they still feel it. And that's the reason why they are going to take some time to accept your connection and to accept your relationship. So you need to keep an open mind and to understand that your soulmate could differ than your usual expectations. And that's a big reason why this person here has a mask because you still have not seen the true picture. All right, Power One, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I am offering a tar um, tarot and a soul reading at the moment. If you'd like to request one, you can find my details below. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Welcome, pal, to all those who've chosen the yellow flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. In today's reading, we're going to look into what will your marriage life look like? Okay, so first we have here nine of swords. Sun. Okay, we have the tower. Four of wands. Two of Cups, Forgiveness, Faith, Give Your Relationship a Chance, and Passion. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Okay, Pal 2. So, I like being as honest as possible in my readings. Now, with this, it seems major ups and downs in the connection. It could have been where you are with this person, where you're not married yet, and things have gone really, really bad in your connection. But then you come together again, and then it lands up to a marriage. So there is something which is like a major up and down. I feel that for some of you, this could be where... Um, you would be getting married with someone you know. It could be like an ex or someone with whom you've given a relationship a chance already. So let me just start with thinking where to start from. <laughs> okay, let me start with this. Give your relationship a chance. This makes me feel very strongly that something is in the connection and it's either if you know the person before marriage where maybe things have gone bad between the two of you and you had to give your connection a chance again. So you've overcome that major obstacle in your life. If that's not the case, then yes, it could be after marriage where for some reason you would need to work on your connection again and give that a chance. And the reason why I feel it could be major is because we have the tower card over here. The tower card is a card where suddenly, suddenly things happen in your life. Now, the sudden, it could be for the good and for the bad as well. Now, I'll give various scenarios over here. So, as I said, if you've known this person before, it could be you've had this major breakup. And that breakup was a tower and you come in together and decide to get married. Things fall into place. If that's not been the situation, it could be after marriage where 
it could be a situation, an argument which leads into something really major. And then you decide to part for some time, but come back again. Now, the reason I feel things are going to be back to normal again and rather be very, very good is because we have the card of sun as well over here next to the tower. So things are going to fall beautifully into place here. The other thing which is coming up is for some of you, I'm getting this very strong feeling that it could be in regards to children when you're not expecting any kids or maybe you don't want any kids because of your financial situation or whatever it is. That's when suddenly you get the news that you're pregnant or your partner is pregnant. But because it's next to the sun card again, this news as well would turn out to be something so, so beautiful. Yes, for a lot of you, I do feel that when you're least expecting children, that's when children would come into your life. Right, so that was the major thing. So there are going to be major changes in your life. We have the card of four of wands. You're going to have this beautiful, beautiful marriage, the way a girl, a woman dreams of. And you'll have your friends and your family around you. Everyone will be so happy for the two of you. It's going to be like a dream marriage here for some of you I'm seeing. You both are going to be very, very, very happy. I can't stress that enough. And plus we have here the two of cups. It's a card of partnership. It's a card of soulmates over here. So for a lot of you, I feel you'll be getting married with the person you truly love, right? You'd be having that feeling of true love for this person and you're going to be so happy in your marriage, extremely. We have it a card of sun. So when it comes to tarot, the sun is the most optimistic and happiest card. And that's the reason regardless of what will happen in your connection and situation. Because we have it a card of sun, everything will turn out perfectly fine again. Everything will turn out well again. So you don't need to worry regardless of the tower moment, what happens. Now we have it a card of fate and forgiveness. So... Again, it's difficult to say what your situation will be because it's a general reading. So please take how it resonates. But there is going to be a testing period, right? And it's going to ask you for, it's going to ask you to have faith. This is going to make you um, a bit more spiritual. And for some of you, you may be religious as well following it. So it's going to test your faith in yourself, in your higher self and in this connection because it's going to ask for forgiveness. There is some sort of forgiveness over here as well. So it's something which will be testing you a lot. It will be testing your connection a lot. But whatever it is, you both are going to come out as the sun, as warriors. This is a karmic thing. So it's a karma which needs to be cleared off. And that's the reason why it's coming up. I feel a lot of karma involved. Um, in this situation, but it's going to increase your faith in the divine. It's going to increase your faith in your spirit guides, in your God, whoever you believe in. Your faith is going to be tested, but you are going to come out as a winner over here. And it's a testing period for the two of you in your connection, your marriage, whatever it is. But it's whatever it is, trust me, you will come out of it because Beautifully, we have the sun over here. Then we have here passion. There will be so much passion in your connection. It's a very passionate relationship as well. But that's another reason why when you have so many highs, you have so many lows as well. So you are going to feel at the peak. You are going to be so passionate. Your sexual life will be amazing. And with the two of cups as well, it's a beautiful combination of, of your body and soul. Okay, that's how you're going to feel, like your body and soul is one. But because there is so much passion, there is a lot of fire as well. And sometimes your arguments could be ooh, very, very, very fiery. Okay. And then we have here the Nine of Swords. Okay, and the Nine of Swords, as I felt, there could be some sort of, it's all in this tower. It's all linked to this tower moment. So it's going to be one major event right? And that will maybe have you, um, you'll have a little sleepless nights. It's going to test your fate. It's going to need your forgiveness in it and whatever it is. And maybe it's not just from you. Maybe it's from your partner as well. So it's from the both of you. It's not just you who'll be going through everything. It's both of you mutually would be going through this situation and this connection. Regardless, 
okay your faith you need to have this faith in your connection and in your partner you need to have faith in each other and you are going to come out warriors the tower here is between the sun and the four of wands so i feel that nothing can come between the two of you and whatever does come between the two of you you are going to um overcome it you are going to overcome this major situation and for a lot of you i feel like i said you could have a child and that could happen accidentally when you're least expecting it okay that's when your beautiful beautiful child could come in there and we have the sun so um i do feel that your child or your children is going to make you both feel so happy and it's going to bring the two of you even much closer all right pal to is beautiful i hope you enjoy this reading and i know it's a bit intense but don't worry like i said it's something which can be overcome and we have nothing more beautiful than this four of wands two of cups passion and sun couldn't ask for more i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i am offering personal readings at the moment if you like to request one you can find my details below thank you so much goodbye Welcome Paltry, all those who have chosen the red flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So we're going to look into what will your marriage life look like? Okay, so first we have here tower. Okay. Debt. Have eight of coins. moon world soulmate gossip codependency and release your ex okay i'll just tune into the energy here Right, pile three. Some of you watching could have been attracted to pile two as well for some reason. Okay, so let me start with release your ex. This marriage of yours will be so stunning that it's going to make you forget all of your exes, and you probably as well would feel you want to move on in life. This is for those of you who probably um, are not marrying your ex and you still have your um, ex in your life. and even if they're just as friends um i feel that you would want them not to be there in your life because you want your marriage life to be perfect you don't want to be stuck to your past you don't want to think about your past you want to move on okay you want to move on to this beautiful beautiful marriage of yours and it's also where your person you're going to you're going to be so deeply involved with your person with your husband or wife and you just don't want this another someone else or something else to come between the two of you so if some of you are still in contact with your ex i feel that after marriage you probably would not want to be in contact with them that's the energy i'm getting here maybe now you feel it's fine but when the time comes you would feel that maybe it's best not to for some reason because you don't want anything here to mess things up for you we have here the tower Now for a lot of you I feel that this is a tower which will take place before your marriage. I don't feel this to be taking place in your marriage. I feel this is something before your marriage and it could be where uh the spouse of yours was with you during the tower moment and they've helped you to overcome this tower moment. They've helped you to transform. The death card is the card of transformation. They've helped you to come out from one place to another and that's the reason why you feel so um won't say obliged to them that probably wouldn't be the right word but you just find them so special and you wouldn't want to hurt them in any way as you know being in touch with someone not wanted in your life so um i feel that your spouse here is going to help you to transform from this tower moment in your life so if you have someone in your life who's probably been like that that pillar of strength the pillar of support in your life it could be that person and if it's not it could also be where your spouse even though after marriage is helping you to heal they're helping you to transform 
you probably still have some pain in your life lingering on or there could be something whether it's before marriage or after marriage regardless but your spouse is going to be a major major influence here in helping you to heal from any heartaches any past and they're going to help you to transform beautifully and they're going to do that with love to see here as well is someone who has a rose in their hand so they're going to do this so peacefully and with so much of love you are going to fall in love with them i feel it's going to be such a beautiful feeling that it's going to be this gradually where this person just is like around you you won't even realize how and when it happens we have your codependency i feel that yes you both would be very dependent on each other but i'm not saying this in a bad way i don't feel that um you're not going to be independent as such but you both like being there for each other you both love helping each other and i feel that you are going to be the one as well very very romantic in the connection although your person yes with the white rose is they are romantic in a way but they do it in a very subtle way and you do it in a way which is more um uh, there in front of the person maybe like um lighting the room up having all flowers around you um having candlelight dinner that's the type and whereas your person is going to do it so subtly that you won't even know he's trying to do a he or she is trying to do a romantic gesture towards you i see you definitely having a family together having children together and you both are going to adore your children it's like you wouldn't want your child to be in pain at all and you both would be trying your best not to make your child or children feel any sort of pain um in any way okay you both will always always together try to support your children and it's beautiful this card is so beautiful if you can see they're carrying the weight over here and the child is there very happy not knowing that how much trouble the parents are going through at the same time their hands they join their hands they're holding each other's hand and that's how you're going to be you're going to be there with each other through thick and thin and only you both know you oh my god i'm getting a little it's a very emotional card i feel because you probably never realized you could be in such a marriage i don't think that you would be expecting such a marriage you you would have thought my life is ruined for whatever reason or whatever situation you've gone through and suddenly this person enters your life and changes everything for you and yes it's a soulmate connection okay i wouldn't say it's a twin flame uh but i feel it a lord as a soulmate so it's going to be a very calming energy it's a very um nurturing feeling which i'm getting from this card and i feel more than you your person would be nurturing you in a very very beautiful way and that's the reason as time goes by you're going to understand how much this person has done for you and you're just going to fall in love more and more with your person i feel here with someone who are falling in love gradually and i feel that when you marry this person as time goes by you're going to fall more and more in love with them we have here the card 8 of pentacles there is work there is work involved in your um day to day life okay and it's like maybe you have to cook and clean look after the house maybe you both are working independently but whatever it is even if whatever the situation is you both are going to enjoy every moment of it even if it's things like cleaning up the house you'll probably split up the work and or maybe you'll work on the garden together whatever it is you both are going to do it together i don't see one person dominating the other one over here not at all you both are here very much equal in the connection we have here the card of the moon and it's getting a very romantic card from here i know it's a card of intuition and insight as well but for both of you i feel it's a very romantic card you both will be traveling quite a bit i'm seeing here there is a lot of travel here involved 
And even if you're financially maybe not that strong, whatever it is, you'll probably go somewhere nearby. And if you are financially strong, you could be traveling the globe, you could be traveling the world. There is definitely a lot of travel involved here. So it's a very romantic uh, connection. And then we have here gossip. I feel that you'll be having your own social circle. And like I said, no one here would be dominating the other person. So you're going to have your own set of friends. Your person is going to have their own set of friends. And I see here people so jealous, so jealous about your beautiful marriage. I don't feel you are because I see you someone who's so happy and you are going to be so happy with this marriage. It's just going to reflect on your face. Can you see it everywhere? This person is smiling. And you are going to be so, so happy and it's going to reflect. But the people around you are not going to be so happy seeing you happy unless it's your really close friends. But I don't feel if it's your social friends as such. And you've got so much to talk about. You have a wonderful partner. You have beautiful children. You are being supported by your partner in whatever you do. You couldn't have asked for more. So for you, I feel whatever trouble you had in life, that's all gone in the past. And your person will help you from the past to start living your life in the present beautifully. You're going to start enjoying the small, small things of life again. And your exes, who maybe you were deeply in love with them, you are going to realize with time that you don't need the energy in your life anymore. And you are going to devote your whole heart and soul to your beautiful family. All right, Pal 3, I hope you resonated with this. If you did, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I, I'm sure you must have enjoyed this reading. And if you'd like to book a tarot or a soul reading, you can find my details in the description box below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.